All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 97. So for my solution, I'm gonna rewrite my problem right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite 100 as 97 plus 3. So I get 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 is going to equal 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3. And I have this minus 7 to the power of 97. Now from here, notice how both of my terms have 7 to the power of 97 in them. So I can simply factor out 7 to the power of 97, and I get 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 minus 1. And 7 to the power of 3 minus 1 is, well, 7 to the power of 3 is 343. So I get 343 minus 1, which is equal to 342. So I get 7 to the power of 97 times 342. So this is my answer in simplest form. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 22 times three to the power of 33. So to solve this, what I'm gonna do is first rewrite two to the power of 22 as 2 to the power of 11 times 2. And now I have this times 3 to the power of 33. Well, 33 is, again, a multiple of 11. That's the same thing as 11 times 3. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 11 times 2 times 3 to the power of 11 times 3. Now, from here, there is an important property of exponents that I'm going to use to further develop this problem. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So basically, these two exponents simply multiply and result in a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this form and change it into this form. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 11. And remember, this is also the same thing as 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2. These two are the same because at the end of the day, they both are going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times 11. So now, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 11 times 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 11. So I did the same thing with 3 to the power of 11 times 3. Now, I'm actually going to simplify what's in the parentheses. So I have 2 squared in the parentheses, which is equal to 4 to the power of 11. And I have 3 to the power of 3 in the parentheses, which is equal to 27 to the power of 11. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of 11 times 27 to the power of 11, this is equal to 4 times 27 to the power of 11. And now 4 times 27, that's going to equal 108. So now I have 100. An 8 to the power of 11 and this is my final equation or sorry not final solution to this problem